Hey guys, welcome back to Casey's Backyard. Um, it's been a couple of weeks since I posted anything. Um, I had the enjoyable time of having pneumonia for a couple of weeks. Um, don't recommend it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to update you on what Richard has done. Um, I haven't really done anything. Um, and then we're going to talk tomatoes. Um, we have eight different varieties we're going to put in the ground today and I'll show you about pruning, talk about our fertilizer and stabilizing them. But yeah, let's um, let's go around and see what we have already gotten done or what he has gotten done. I'm going to switch you around here. Perfect. All right, we've got our fence up around our peppers. Um, all of these are going to go in the ground. That blue bucket has got some fertilizer very wonderful smelling stuff in there. Um, we're going to dig the hole, put the fertilizer in there, put the peppers in, and cover them up, water them, more fertilizer, cultivate, yeah, all the good stuff. Um, potatoes are coming along nicely. I don't know if you can see them way over there. They're coming out. They look beautiful. Super excited about those. Um, the middle we've got rosemary. There's some thyme back there. And we've got um, our extra bro broccoli and cauliflower. There's some extra peppers. There's some basil. There's some strawberries like right along in here. Um, I'm going to show you what he did earlier today. He put, um, oh, these are all of our sweet peppers. There's a couple of hot in there, but these are all of our sweet peppers. I believe... Um, I don't know, seven or eight, maybe nine different varieties of sweet peppers. Um, these are all of our hot peppers. Um, we have got jalapenos, big gems, habaneros, cayenne, Tabasco, Anaheim. Um, but he did the same thing. He dug the hole, put the wonderful smelling fertilizer in there, put the plant in, put it back up. He's got more fertilizer on top. Um, cayenne's in the back. Um, we've got wire baskets because some of them might need a little bit of stabilization. Um, yeah, so that's what we've done right there. I'll throw in some pictures. He did some tilling and whatnot yesterday. Um, this is where our melons are going to go. We'll do that in a couple of weeks. What you doing? Okay. Cool. Yeah, so we'll walk around. These are all of our extra ones. Squash and zucchini. They look fabulous. There's already like flowers in there. It's really crazy. Little flower buds. I don't know if you can see those. They're in there. Beautiful. I'm so excited. Spinach is coming along. Probably another week. We'll have some spinach to harvest. Exciting. Strawberries. Let's go in here. These strawberry plants are so green. They're beautiful. Looking good. Oh, look, a little pollinator. Awesome. Don't sting me. All right. Walk around here. Where he is. Beautiful trellises put up. Talk about tomatoes. 
gonna get started while you dig your hole. So now we're on to tomatoes. This one is Paul Robeson. He's gonna be a very handsome tomato. Can you see that? Is that in there? I think so. So it's been transplanted, you said what, twice already, three times? Yeah. Um, into bigger pots. Um, so we're gonna plant it a little deeper. And doing so, we are going to take off some of these bottom stems and then trim it a little bit, um, get the suckers out, stake it up, and then it's gonna climb our trellis. You said we don't want the bottom ones to touch the ground, right? Right. Can I take this off? I did not bring clippers. Can we just pinch those off or do they have to do We're going to put it in the ground first and stabilize it, then we'll do all that. Okay. Do we need more fertilizer to put around it? We're just going to. Well, hold on. blustery day. <laughs> what did you say earlier? Okay, poop. Okay, poop. It's a very blustery day here in Zone 7. Oh my gosh. too much because then it can't protect the fruit from sun damage. This is a lot of fun. Okay. This one's got two stalks.
these suckers off because I just take them off. Uh, this sucker is just like the name implies. It uh, drains the plant of uh, That's right. energy to create fruit. So we want it to focus on creating fruit. We've already got some flowers up here. What was that other one? Is that on this main stem? Is that down below? It's right here on this oh, side. On the other side. All right, so then we'll put some um, earthworm castings on top, cultivate it in, and water her up. We gotta do it 19 more times. <laughs> 19 more times. Here, let me turn you around and show you what else. There we go, all of those, all the way down. 19 more times. Does mom say she's coming to help? Yeah. All right. So there's what little I know about tomatoes. He's the tomato person. Um, oh, I was gonna ask, on the cherry tomatoes, you don't prune those. You, I mean, you get the leaves off the ground, right? But you don't like, there's no suckers or anything. You just let it. No, you, you know, you trim those just as well. Um, unless they're uh, a determinate tomato, determinate, you let everything go. An indeterminate. You, that was you our cherry tomatoes right. last year. Right. We've got berries, crazy cherries, and Norwood miners. And they're both indeterminate, so we trim those. Noted. All right. Cool. Hey guys, I had to take a break. Uh, pneumonia is no joke. Um, I just got a little dizzy and tired. But I'm trying to find my tomato seeds and talk about what we're actually growing. Here we go. All right, so wild boar farms. We got, where are you at camera? There you go. See how tiny these little seeds are? They were so difficult to sow. But these are our berries, crazy cherries. They are a cherry tomato. Um, I'm very excited about this. I love cherry tomatoes. Last year I just kept eating them off the plant and he got onto me because I didn't have any to bring inside. Um, let's see, the other one is also from Wild Boar Farms. It is Norwood Miner. It's probably backwards, I'm sorry. I'm not a very professional camera person. Um, but they are also a cherry tomato, but they're bigger than the little ones. Um, and they've got pretty little stripes on them, so can't wait for those. Um, there's actually one on the plant outside. Um, if I remember, I'll show you. The, um, Cherokee purple. Cherokee purple, they're in a little plastic bag because my sister sent up with my mom um, Cherokee purple tomatoes that she grew in her garden and she sent me some and they were absolutely delicious so um i sent her some plants that i started so she'll have some more of those um it's just a perfect tomato um you can use it for anything um money makers they are also supposed to be really pretty um classic heirloom greenhouse tomato um, Tigerella, these are also going to be really pretty. They also have stripes. Um, these are all pretty much indeterminate tomatoes. I don't think we got any determinate. Uh, it, it is what it says. Uh, indeterminate means there's no determining how tall it's going to get. Um, it's just going to keep going. Um, green zebra, it's another pretty one. Um, and I think, where's that? There's a basil, Paul Robeson. These are what Paul Robeson look like. Those are really pretty. Um, we got those from In My Gardener. Uh, love his seeds. They're very inexpensive for the little packet. I think it's like $2 for a packet. Um, 
I still got quite a bit. I think. I'm gonna, yeah. There's a handful in there. Probably gonna order more anyway because that's what I do. Um, Roma. These are Romas. Roma's Aroma. You can get those at Kroger or your local grocery store. Delicious tomatoes. So these are gonna be the big ones. Um, I'll probably use a lot of these and Romas to make salsa um, and possibly some um, tomato sauce. Um, I'm not a big tomato sauce person. Um, actually, I think it's the cumin that my body doesn't like. Basil, basil. More basil. We got a lot of basil. I think I thought we had more tomato types. Maybe, maybe I used all of the seeds that were in there and I didn't keep the packet. Um, my bad. But yeah, so um, keep you guys updated. Let's see, that's one, two, two cherry tomatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six varieties of those tomatoes. Um, he did put the cucumber seeds in the ground as well, right behind the tomatoes. We've got long green, um, which I think are the English ones. They're the long ones um, that you can slice. Um, they're supposed to be really good. Oh gosh, he's such a messy man. Oh no, oh that's just dirty. Okay, um, and these are the Boston pickling. So I'm gonna make pickles for those. Um, <laughs> my guys at work love the um, pickles that I made last year. So. We'll do that again, and then these cucumber seeds are just from cucumbers that we grew last year, so I did that. All right, I'm going to continue to take a little break, probably eat some lunch, um, and then we'll go back out there, fin finish those tomatoes, and start on the peppers, and hopefully mom will show up and help us out. Uh, I need to text her to bring another shovel. That would probably be a good idea. All right. Um, so there's a little bit of tomato talk, a little bit I know. He's the tomato guy, like I said. All right, um, enjoy the rest of the video. All right, guys, I'm back for a little bit. Um, I'm going to put some basil and thyme in between the tomatoes. Mom's here, she's helping, she's putting the peppers in. Um, I forgot to tell her about a shovel. Um, but that's fine, she's got a hand shovel, a spade, whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take, um, turning around take this time we got quite a bit of it um, some basil we got cinnamon basil large leaf basil and uh, sweet basil um, I've got some more in a big pot over there um, and then ooh, that was a stick not a tail where'd they go here they are put some marigolds we're gonna line the fence with those so that's my job now all right have fun all right, putting an ending to this video. Mom got all the peppers in. She did a great job. Put the labels in, I love that. Looks amazing. Got a little windy today. She was worried about them blowing over, so she put this piece of plywood up. Uh, but they're doing just fine. They're doing just fine. Gonna come over here did not get to get the thyme and basil in between the tomatoes like I said before pneumonia is no joke I just got exhausted and didn't have the time ha 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 there's a joke there somewhere but husband did get all the tomatoes in various crazies and Norwood Miner super excited all of the tomatoes are in we'll eventually get to that time and basil in between it's supposed to rain tomorrow thank goodness we always seem to time it correctly getting things in the ground and then it rains he's moving four by fours I don't know why I don't know what he's doing but I wonder if you can see if I can zoom in we got a little marigold in I'm so excited about those they're so cute Super, super cute. All right, guys. Hopefully I won't be so long in posting another video. Until then, hope this was informative and see you next time.